Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we'll talk about a neat little feature in Windows 8 especially if you're using the internet and you are really limited in the amount of megabytes or gigabytes that you can download every month over your uh, connection. Um, they've actually added a feature in Windows that lets you see how much um, of your bandwidth actually you've used and the estimated usage of that um, that internet connection so for example maybe you're on a Wi-Fi network and you know that you're allowed only you know five gigabytes a month for example and you're wondering where am I how much did I download in the past few days and where am I here so to access that information, all you have to do, and it works even if you're on a wired connection, maybe your modem is di directly connected to your computer. So you go into the uh, right corners um, to get a charms bar or swipe from right to left if you have a touch screen. Go into settings at the bottom and click on your internet Wi-Fi connection or if it's not a Wi-Fi, you'll see a little computer screen which is your plugged connection uh, so uh, just click on that connection to bring up the list of Wi-Fi or your connection itself and where it says that you are actually connected uh, right click and there you'll see show estimated data usage so you can click here and it's gonna tell you for example here it tells me that I have 105.7 gigabytes since 59 days ago and the thing is you will want to reset this information so if for example every month you have 20 gigabytes well the first of the month what you do is you click the reset button right just below there it starts back at zero and throughout the month you have an estimated um, usage of your data on your network so if you're really limited in the quantity of data that you can share on your network in a month because you have a, um, a very low um, bandwidth cap on your internet connection, then it's a good idea to actually take a look at this uh, little feature. And it's pretty nice because it's a brand new feature in Windows 8. You can also, if you click once again on the right corners um, or swipe to get the charms bar, click again on your connection if you right click here um, actually I just go back so I click here you just you right click on your connection another thing that's set is set as metered connection here set as metered connection will actually um, let you see Um, this option changes the behavior of certain connected Windows features when enabled. Um, it's typically something that's more into the uh, you know cellular cellular uh, data um, information. So what happens is when you turn on the metered connection, it will actually tell you from time to time when you use some features that might actually uh, use uh, some data for example might maybe you'll be streaming videos well if you set it as a metered connection what's interesting is that it's gonna actually tell you you are using a high data uh, application and a kind of a warning to let you know that what you're doing now is going to take a lot of gigabytes or megabytes out of your connection. Um, if you've got, of course, a lot of gigabytes, like I have 250 gigabytes a month, which is okay, then you'll want to set it as a non-metered connection. So uh, it's a good idea. It's kind of a, a way of uh, getting more information uh, about what's, uh, you know, being shared 
and you can actually if you right click your connection show the estimated data and you can always keep it like that which means that every time you click on your network you'll always see how much megabytes or gigabytes are being used so it's a cool little feature uh, but keep in mind that it does not replace the official meter of your internet service provider or your internet cellular provider that's very important because I've noticed that most of the time the amounts that the computer will tell you are different than the amounts that your internet service provider is actually uh, seeing so be careful with that um, and of course that is a good idea if you have only one device but if you have three computers and an iPad and an iPhone and they're all on your network uh, keep in mind that you'll have to check directly with your internet uh, service provider um, all internet service providers that I've seen have a little a place on their um, home page where you can actually view the amount of data you've downloaded every month so always check there and uh, I personally prefer going onto the uh, web page of my service provider to check for the amount of data instead of using this option here um, and, and one of the reasons is the fact that I have you know like five computers at home and um, I've got two tablets and I've got an iPad and I've got an iPhone and I've got all these devices are connected there I've got an internet radio I've got uh, an Apple TV so all that takes data and so using this meter is not interesting because it only shows the data used by this computer not the overall data of all my devices so you're better off using the uh, web page or the application that your internet service provider has to verify every month how much data you've downloaded so I uh, hope you enjoy these videos uh, maybe you've got that new Windows 8 machine you're a little lost uh, well lots of videos are online here uh, to try and help you the best way possible to use your uh, computer and um, if you have got that um, new computer and want to learn more click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know maybe you have a request of a feature you'd like to see a review let us know also we'll try to put a video online for you and uh, hey uh, take a look at our other videos we have online lots of videos I'm trying to learn more about Windows 8 if you want to learn more it's a great place to be so uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel bye bye